Hi friends, today I am pretty excited. I get to go see the world premiere of a new musical called Redwood starring Broadway icon Edina Menzel. She conceived the idea for this musical 15 years ago and it sounds like it has been quite the labor of love to bring it to fruition. Now I'm not a theater critic, just a regular person who loves musicals. In this video, I'll share a little bit of the background behind Redwood and I'll take you along and let you know of my experience seeing it. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. One of the gems of where I live is the La Jolla Playhouse, which is on the campus of UCSD, literally like five miles from where I live. The La Jolla Playhouse was founded in 1947 by Gregory Peck, Dorothy McGuire, and Mel Ferrer. 36 productions that originated at the Playhouse have gone on to Broadway. We've been fortunate to see many of these productions right here in San Diego with the original casts before they go on to Broadway. That's pretty cool, right? Edina Menzel makes her La Jolla Playhouse debut in Redwood, a one-of-a-kind theatrical event about one woman's journey into the precious and precarious world of the Redwoods. She plays Jessie, a successful businesswoman, mother, and wife. She seems to have it all, but inside her heart is breaking. Jessie leaves everyone and everything behind, gets in her car, and just drives, drives, drives. Thousands of miles later, she hits the ancient forests of Northern California, where a chance meeting and a leap of faith change her life forever. In the presence of the magnificent, towering redwoods, Jessie finds strange and powerful connections, an unexpected sense of community, and a chance at healing. Now, 15 years ago, Menzel came up with the idea of doing a musical around a woman who lives alone in a redwood tree. She planted the seed many years ago with acclaimed writer and director and devout tree lover, Tina Landau. With decades of patience and nurturing, this redwood has finally grown into maturity. It was a pandemic which shut down the arts for 18 months that allowed Menzel and Landau to dig back into this idea. They knew they wanted something new and innovative, so they searched for a non-Broadway composer and really wanted to do a set design that avoided the cliche of having a fake forest on stage. They wanted a female composer too and landed on Kate Diaz, who blew them away. I love this quote from Landau about redwoods. The roots of a redwood only go down six feet or so, but structurally that seems to be an impossibility. The key to how they're able to stand is that they're connected to the roots of all the other trees around them. They've taught me about connection and ways to live in the world. The more I've learned, the more I aspire to be the redwood. Even though I've lived in California for the vast majority of their life, I'm embarrassed to say that I have never made the trip up to actually see the Redwoods. I have a feeling this is going to inspire me to go. I'm seeing this musical with my husband, my daughter, and her best friend. We're heading out now and I will do my best to share as much as I can. I mean, they don't usually let you film anything during the production, but I'll try to sort of set the stage for you and then we will come back and let you know after what we thought of it. Okay, here is the crew that's seeing Redwood with me. Yay. So, um, guys, what are we thinking? Are we excited about it? Yeah, excited. I know absolutely nothing about it, but it's got the star from Wicked, so that's good. Okay. I didn't know anything either. And then T just told me about the Redwoods, and I was very excited <laughs> about the trees. So. I know. So I was saying earlier, me, even though I've lived in California my whole life, I have never seen the Redwoods. I'm embarrassed. Each of you have seen the Redwoods, correct? Absolutely. Did you have like a special experience when you saw them? Oh, absolutely. I love them. 
I also would like to support the sequoias. They're great, and then the giant trees, they're very special in California. Need your help, as well as the redwoods, too, because the wildfires. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Jackie? Well, I was just uh, blown away by the, the magnitude and the size and everything. It's just incredible. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, agree. Are the redwoods and sequoia close, though? You can try there. I mean, there's a couple different redwoods. Like, isn't like Humboldt? They have pockets also in like San Francisco, they do too. And then Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon. That's where the Sequoia is. Okay, park. yeah. Right. Because I did that whole thing. Yeah. How's She's my amazing. stomach though? Should I do this? Uh, <laughs> no, that's all fine. It's fine. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. So, and none of us have actually seen in person Adina Menzel sing, correct? No. 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 I, I know. I, I'm just curious to see if her talent is just like incredible That's compared to the be. other people yeah. you've seen. Okay, we will come back after. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to the magic of live theater. What you're about to see is a beautifully technically ambitious show and um, sometimes things happen. It's live theater. Um, so you're part of that magic and you can go tell your friends. We will have a, a little bit of our projection down. It's not going to interfere with your experience and we'll do our best to put on a beautiful show for you this afternoon. You're in for um, a really beautiful, beautiful experience. Okay, crew, you can see we're all a little teary-eyed. <laughs> thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I thought it was fantastic. I, I am a huge Adina fan now. I was before, but I'm huge, and I just love that woman's heart. And I don't want to, it's just really, really good. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it still feels a little good. I know, I know, I know. I wasn't expecting to be like, I, it was like a, touching subject but like that last or the, the song at the end yeah yeah it really gets you and Mommy. the staging right was how, how would we describe this for people it was so I'm creative yeah it was really creative I thought it was really yeah nice. like the screens and it kind of like feel the movement and yeah it was cool that, that part was really cool and the voices I felt like I mean, obviously, Adina has an amazing voice, but I feel like they're all, like, kind of at her level. That's funny, too. I bet they had some good ones. I, I yeah, enjoyed that true. a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like such a stuff. pistol. Yes. Yeah. All righty. Thumbs up. So thumbs up. up. We recommend. Up. Yeah. recommend. Okay, cool. Yeah, I agree. Lots and lots of themes that they covered. Obviously, I'm a little bit of a, a mess, too. So I felt like the screens and everything reminded me of that disney ride where you go and you're like you're in the middle and you see the whole world from about it it was like watching that for an entire two hours it was amazing how they did it and how you had the whole feeling that you were in this forest with her i was telling everybody i definitely have to go see these redwoods now they oh that seemed amazing and her voice i mean it is oh such a talent and so unique as soon as you heard it and we got to listen to it for like two hours straight she pretty much sang most of the songs so it was really an amazing experience and i hope oh i hope a lot of people get to see this so oh god what a mess anyway if it does go someplace and you guys see it please let me know what you think in the comments below in the meantime thank you for watching and until next time have fun and dress it up a little. Ooh.